Welcome back everyone. It is 844 on our Thursday morning and whether you know him from his memorable moments on Top Chef or his delicious creations at Juniper and Ivy and Crack Shack. Today, Chef Richard Blaze is opening his brand new restaurant in Carlsbad. We're lucky to have him with us this morning live to preview the menu and let us know what to expect from Ember and Rides. The big opening day. We're really excited to have you with us this morning. What is going on? Yes, I'm very excited. And also there's, you know, hundreds of people about to walk in the door for lunch. So, you know, we have game day energy in Ember and Rye today for sure. That's right. I mean, it's a really big day. So thank you for being with us on opening day itself. Uh, I want you to tell us first off about what we need to know about Ember and Rye. I know this is a different restaurant than any that you've had before. What makes it different? And tell us about, I mean, what's gone into the process of getting this place open? Sure, Ember and Rye is a steakhouse of sorts. So it is uh, well-sourced, amazing local ingredients, cooks you know, perfectly uh, and in an amazing setting that is not your parents' golf clubhouse, uh, a fun restaurant that's overlooking the 18th hole here at the Park Hyatt Aviara um, golf course. And it's all about fun. It's a little bit retro, Evan, because you know, we're throwing back, it's an Arnold Palmer designed golf course. So we're really tapping into that vintage sort of era, you know, um, the music, the vibe, everything sort of has been very, very well curated and created. And of course we're serving delicious food, including some of these snacks that are in front of you because we will have a chef at the snack bar. That's where I'm joining you from today, right in the front of the bar area. And we have everything from a smoked salmon bialy, which is a bagel uh, without a hole in it, quite honestly. Uh, we have lobster rolls here. We have a uh, buckwheat pancake with caviar. Uh, and we're also paying uh, homage and respect to some of the great golf courses uh, and tournaments of the world right here. Evan, I don't know if you've ever had this. This is a pimento cheese sandwich as featured uh, in Augusta every year. It is a cheese sandwich and you can notice We've made it into this white bread ravioli. I have Order never had one. However you want to think about this, Evan, this is what we've done. Uh, and of course, listen, we have all these amazing snacks, but any Richard Blaze restaurant, and of course here at Ember and Rye, has to have an amazing burger. This one's dry aged with French fries that take three days to make. So oh. Evan, if you're looking to do something after you shoot today, we, we, we need someone to make some French fries here. You do very well in uh, in local news. You know how to tease uh, things very well because both that sandwich and that burger look awesome and I'm, I'm already craving it. Uh, and I want you to, I mean, here's the thing. A lot of people would say you have enough on your plate, right? You have uh, cookbooks, you've got, uh, you've, you know, been on television, you already have a restaurant. Why did you want to open this place? What was the inspiration behind it? I know this is not one of those restaurants where I know sh some chefs might make the menu and run off. You're you're heavily involved in the process here. Yeah, I mean, this is headquarters. If you want to see Richard Blaze in the San Diego area, this is where you're going to see me, of course. Um, and yeah, this, this, is, this is my baby right now. So we're very proud of it. And uh, the food is going to be delicious. And yes, I have a lot on my plate. Generally speaking, it's a 32 ounce uh, dry aged steak. <laughs> uh, and uh, perhaps uh, you didn't mention that I just launched a sauce company as well. I like to be busy. Uh, I like to have fun. I like creating things and uh, I'm always up for a challenge. So there's never too much uh, to be on my plate for sure. Well, I didn't mean to bury the lead. What's this sauce company? I want to hear more. Oh, no worries. This right here. Thank you for asking. Uh, this is Richard Blaze steak sauce exclusively available right here at Ember and Rye. You can come here and eat that 48 ounce steak and you can walk home with a jar of the sauce. As a matter of fact, if you order the 40 ounce steak, you walk home with a jar of this sauce. But wait, there's more, Evan. There's <laughs> Tell us. <laughs> now, I, yeah, listen, you can get this sauce here, Richard Blaze, the steak sauce. Um, but again, we're cooking delicious food. We can't wait. There's hundreds of people that are coming in over the next couple of days. Uh, we're doing lunch and dinner seven days a week here. Uh, the sun is out. We're cooking food. Restaurants are opening up again. So I really hope people come say hi to me up here at Ember and Rock. And we know that the timing is, is coming pretty well and that restaurants are now kind of able to open up indoors a little bit more. We know they're loosening restrictions. For people who are curious about what the setup is like, is it safe? Should they feel comfortable dining indoors or outdoors? Uh, what do you have to say? Yeah, I mean, one of the blessings of being up here at Park Hyatt Aviara is we have so much outdoor space, right? 
Uh, so much beautiful space. I mean, the view is amazing. So the outdoor seating is ample here. Uh, of course, now that we can sit inside 25% capacity, everything's going to be spaced out. Uh, of course, we're following all of the uh, health and wellness protocols. Uh, so I hope people are ready to come out to eat. I know that they are. Uh, and you can sit outside. Uh, you can watch some uh, people play the 18 pole, or you can watch me in the kitchen and our chefs cooking on the open fire grill that's outside. So plenty of space. You can do it outside. And, you know, we're blessed to be in San Diego. We're being outside. Uh, you know, you can do that every day. Yeah. And, okay. And I got to ask, do you have a favorite dish on the menu? Well, listen, I'm partial to my burger, but also uh, this is an interesting tool that we will be using to finish our steaks and some of our seafood. This is a flambadou. This is a flambadou, and it is an ancient tool where you drip dry aged fat, in this case, uh, you know, the finest aged beef fat, into this cone that will be a thousand degrees and it crisps up whatever you're cooking. The flambadou, it's the word of the day. I had uh, never heard of that word before. Action here at Ember and Rye. So this is one of my favorite <laughs> uh, dishes that's on the menu. But also, I talked about these French fries. I love French fries. And I, and I love ranch dressing. Like, who doesn't? I'm not that chef who's, like, super pretentious Good. about things, except aprons, obviously. I'm very, I'm, 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 I'm very fashion forward, at least today. <laughs> uh, but fries. All right. Now, uh, last thing, Ember and Rye opening today for people who want more information or maybe are, are they do you take reservations? What's the information, the website that people can go to? For oh, my second? gosh. If you take reservations, you can go to Open Table. You can find us and call us here at the restaurant. You can just show up if you'd like. Uh, but we are open for business at 1130 today. Wow, exciting. Just a couple hours away. Chef Richard Blaze, thank you for being with us. Congratulations on the opening. We hope everything goes amazing today and beyond. Thank you so much. All right, I will send things over to you, Netta and Eric. Guys, I mean, that food, that right in front of him looks incredible. He takes it to, he takes it all like next level. He does. I mean, that's why he's doing pretty well and people yeah. are waiting in line to get it. By the way, I loved him in that film on why him. He played himself in it, which he was hilarious in it. So just <laughs> I'd throw him. that out there. Why him? Because he's awesome. Yeah, exactly. <laughs>